everybody and welcome welcome to a brand new series this is crazy craft what we've all been waiting for and i think i've gotten one of the dumbest spawns i've ever seen in my life i'm on top of a freaking slime island the only advantage to this i can see is that i actually get some slime blocks um but i will have to kill myself in order to get down to the bottom Unless, oh, actually, you know what? I think I have an idea. I'm going to get all the slime blocks that I can. Because I can use this to make um, sticky pistons and such like that. But what I'm going to do, I'll, um, I'll break the side. And I'll let the water run out. And hopefully, that gives me a safe way down. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Alright, this last two shouldn't be that bad. You're kidding me. <laughs> Alright. Let's grab this. Alright, so we got those. So yeah guys, this is the modded series, this is what we've all been waiting for, this is uh, the mod pack that I came up with, uh, the guys are going to be coming out of the server probably a little bit later on today, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning, or 6 o'clock in the morning my time, uh, which is Eastern Standard Time, uh, grab a few of these, and we've already been on looking at the seeds, and where I have to head is Southwest, so there's uh, a couple villages over that way, where we gotta head to. So let's just drop down here safely. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I actually already uh, started a world today and uh, when I got part way through it, I realized that the seed was wrong. So we gotta do the whole hunt and everything again here, but um, I, I found a nice little water hut that had a whole bunch of cool stuff in it. had a flame sword and all that kind of stuff. Just gonna let you guys kind of take in some of the sounds and stuff like that. You can, you can hear what's going on there. We've got uh, birds, we've got a uh, whole bunch of stuff. I can become a chicken if I want to now because we have the morph mod in here. Um, how the hell am I going to get up there? There we go. Alright, so we're going to head over. We've already picked out a spawn. We've checked out a few of these places here. These guys here, they're not... They don't hurt you. It's um, basically a big sheep. So you can see we got uh, two sheep. I don't know if we got the dirt from that or not. <laughs> and yeah, we've already checked out the seed and we found out there's two villages and where we'd like to set the world spawn is over in um, the second village, which is about 300 blocks away. Now what I need to do is get a crafting table going. And I also need to uh, quickly go in here. Our preference, four days. Yeah, okay, I changed that in the last one, so it's stuck. That's good, that's good. Will this give us a pink crafting table? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get all this crap off our bar. We're not going to use it in the books. We definitely won't be using. Okay. So we gotta get ourselves some sticks. Uh, actually, we'll do one more. We're not gonna be able to do what I wanna do, but we'll get a pickaxe and we'll get uh, a sword with the next piece of wood we get. 
We need something to protect ourselves. A wood sword ain't really going to cut it in this modded Minecraft, but you know, to give us a little bit of a fighting chance anyways. Alright. There's our little pink sword. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. We really don't have a lot of time, and see, we were going to set, well, I was going to set the world spawn over there, but I'm thinking I might want to uh, make them suffer through this as well. These guys, by the way, are um, apple cows. You get golden apples, regular apples, leather, and beef, so you get four drops from them. Uh, a good early game food is the corn. Uh, uh, uh. You bastard. Uh, these guys are golden apple cows. Oh, I want to for that guy. Eat an apple. Oh, that's big ass dinosaur. These guys are actually friendly. So you don't have to worry about these guys. They won't do anything. You can walk underneath them. Okay, we're heading a little bit too far to the south first. We'll head over this way. And once we hit the first village, we probably have another 150 to 200 blocks to go from there. I'm hoping we'll be able to make it before nightfall. That would be nice. And then what we can do is once we get in there, we'll get ourselves situated, we'll grab some stone tools, and then we'll start running about. I like the fact that there's quite a few of these uh, golden apple cows around. Hopefully they um, continue to spawn in this area, because then we'll be able to have uh, unlimited supply of golden apples. This is definitely going to make uh, early game a lot easier, to a certain degree. Because it's not... Uh, Definitely not going to be easy, even with red, uh, with golden apples. We've already got seven. But once you get some of these mobs going, holy crap, you're in a lot of trouble. And even here, there's uh, lava mobs. Alright, there should be... Whoa, your legs are glowing. Enchanted golden apple cow. And you got a hat. Nice. Okay, so what did we get? Did we get like the notch apple? No. Hmm. Alright, see if we can see where that. Uh... Alright, that first village I think is right there. So it should be on the other side of this hill. There we go. Yeah, so there's, um, I'm hoping to get this mod pack put up on FTB. Um, I will try to come out with some sort of a list to give you guys an idea of what's on there. Uh, for right now though, I don't think that'll be coming anytime soon. Um, but it, what I tried to do with this, and if you've watched any of my other videos, what the hell is that? It's a grasshopper? That's oh, a cricket. That's sweet. Ow! Okay, that cricket just attacked me for five hearts. Yeah, golden apples or not, guys, I don't think this is going to be very easy. Uh, looks like a mushroom forest. Don't want to get too, too far into here. Alright. What I tried to do with this is... Um, Trying to put that first night fear. Uh oh. That first night fear back into Minecraft where you have no idea. Oh crap. I hope this guy he seems friendly. Get out of the way, piggy. Yeah, put that fear back in for your first night where you do not want to be outside. And I'm hoping that that's a village. If not, uh. We're going to be bunkering down there for the night, and well, I'll probably die at least four or five times. I don't think this is the village. 
Nope, and there's a damn beehive over there, too. Um, okay, well, at least this area is lit up. Go in, damn it. Ugh. What the hell is that? Did something just attack me. What the hell was that? That is weird. Alright, so where the hell is this village? It's supposed to be a village somewhere around here. That's the beehive. That could be it. I don't think that's it. That's one of those um, ruins or whatnot. Um, I'm debating if we should just make a run for it or what. No, don't I have... Ah, crap, I don't have enough... Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Look at all the bread around me. That is not cool. This is one of those things where it's like, do I make a run for it? No, see, that's a spawner. Definitely don't want to go near those. I don't even care if it's a goldfish one or not. Yeah, everything seems to be swarming around by me. Okay, that beehive is straight ahead of me. But just pointing out that way. So there's that, and then there's these over here. There's obviously something there in a roofed forest, but you don't want to go anywhere near that. Let's see, and I spawned somewhere up here. It almost sounds like something's downstairs. You know what I can do is I can grab a... Uh, few of these. And I'll make uh, some stone tools, stone swords, stone picks, stone axe. And then at least that way it won't be entirely unproductive while we're sitting in here kind of hiding. And then I'm going to make a run for it. Uh, let's see, we got some sticks. Yes, we do. And cobble. Oh, need one more piece. That walking around out there is creeping me out. I think it's just the cows, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Get these things all situated here. Alright. Let's get rid of this crap. Yeah, we'll keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that in case we need slimy sapling, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Pumpkin we have no need for right now. And these, I'm gonna put those on the hot bar. I'll eat those first. We've already got 25 pieces of beef. And I've got the golden apple and then the notch apple there as well. Alright, so this is awesome. It's raining. Alright, we're making a run for it. I'm not going to sit inside and hide. Oh, you see that stupid little worms? And these bees we got to watch out for as well. Uh, I want to get that sheet. Okay.
Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright, see the guys checked it out. I um I wasn't a part of the checking out the seeds. <laughs> I kinda wish I was. Because now I have no freaking clue. See that thing right there is usually a spawner. And something not so nice comes out of it. Uh, some of them are filled with goldfish. Uh, but I think these ones are pumpkins, and uh, you got to be wary of those things there. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Look at the grass. When you cut it, it blows with the wind. Oh crap. Looks like we got a tornado coming. I don't think it was a very smart idea to go outside today. <laughs> we are getting the hell out of here. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, interesting first night out here in the thunderstorm and possibly tornado there is um ants that are around the walking trees they're harmless um i still don't see this damn village that these guys were talking about Spending most of our first episode running around. Okay, at least the weather's calmed down. Yeah, spending most of our first episode trying to find a damn village. But at least uh, I'm trying to stay away from that original mentality of. Oh crap. Whoa. Of staying inside and hiding for the first night. I want to be able to get out and explore. But with these new mobs, it is a lot more shady than it ever was. You can see I got bloody worms attacking me. I've got dinosaurs around me. I got a tornado or a hurricane something starting over there. Yeah, we haven't even seen any of the big birds yet. I'm trying to see if I can find something, but it doesn't appear to be Where are we? That could be a village there to the north, but it looks just like a pile of dirt, just with the exception of the uh, square thing. I honestly don't see this village. I have a feeling that I've missed it. And... Damn, that was lightning. Okay, let me just take a peek here. I need to go back east. I think it might be over here. Stupid chicken. Alright. Let's eat up all our little tiny food. Yeah, you can see the wind blowing side to side there. This is uh, coming down right on top of me. <laughs> Alright. Time to go. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here, dinosaurs. I don't care what you do. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's a lot of fun. You stay the hell away from me. Stranger danger. Oh, crap. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there's one of those ants right there. I don't think this is a bad one. No. Okay, maybe he is. <laughs> okay, we gotta head east. And we'll get up to the high ground to see if we can't find uh, something looking down that way. I thought it was near um, like a darker area on the map, which I could be wrong, but... Alright, let's go. At least we're not spending the first episode mining. That's all I can say. Now it's got uh, ore spawn in this, as you probably have noticed, um, some of the mobs that we have coming around. Uh, very, very OP, but um, the cool thing is, is it has a ton of different dimensions and mobs that you can fight that are really out of the ordinary. I know um, 
all you have to do is click on uh, a little ant. There's a red ant dimension and a black ant and a brown ant dimension. I think there's three dimensions. And uh, cool hat, bro. Yeah, okay, we're back here at that thing. What the hell is that? Criminal spawn egg. Can I get that? That's Saltor. Hmm. I have no clue what that is. But you, sir, are gonna die. Because I want your wool. Alright, so where are we now? We're back here. Maybe if we just head south. There's a big bird or something coming towards me. I can hear its wings. Okay, it's sticking around to figure out what the hell that is. That's a whole lot of hopping and jumping. Oh, well, hell no, I can't make that. Oh my god! Okay, so those little squids can kill you. Um, crap. Alright, so where are we? Oh yeah, that's another spawner. It's got uh, crabs and rats in it. Oh, and there's all these bloody mobs. They come out during the day. So just because you think you're safe during the daytime, you're not. Alright, so how far away? 700 blocks. Alright, let me get back over that way so we can grab my gravestone because I have to knock down a tree and all that kind of crap. So I'll bring you guys back once I get all the way over there and have my pickaxe. I'll see you in a few. Alright guys, so we're back in the uh, cover here of the darkness and the water. Um, speaking of water, I think that's probably how I died. There's probably something that was in there that got me. Um... Those stupid worms in the water, I tell you, they're annoying as hell. Give me all my stuff. Uh, what don't I need? Seeds. 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 Oh, of course, for more seeds. Oh yeah, it was those stupid squid. And then there's some big ass thing that's over there and I'm not sticking around to find out what he's about. That guy that was over there, right there. Or that guy. Damn, I didn't even see that. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of those. Alright. Well, this ep first episode is going to be a little bit longer than the rest. Uh, I always like to do a nice big episode for everybody at the beginning so you get a good feel of things and get to see what's around, all that kind of stuff. So um, let's just go right into the mountain. And then also, it allows us a chance to kind of explore a little bit more of the mod as well. Oh, crap. Light gray wool. This ain't going to work. Jump in there, damn it. Alright, so we have anything around here yet. It's gonna become nighttime again. So, where are we? 
Oh, we're right there in the middle. So if we keep going down here to the southeast, we should be okay. Uh, let's do something here first. Hopefully we have... Yes. Three pieces of wood, three pieces of wool. Oh, thank God. I just wasn't ready for another night. Not yet, anyways. Holy crap. I mean, screw the night. I'm dying throughout the day as it is. Alright. So, we gotta go to the southeast. This way. Oh no, server is backing up. I want to find this by the end of the episode. We got it. It's what our mission was right from the get-go. What are you? Well, whatever you are, I can become. Alright. So... Don't see any villages. And the pack I'm using is the Faithful 32 for modded Minecraft, just in case you're wondering. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm definitely not going near it. That thing is a pain in the ass, that blue thing. Alright, let's check out what's on the other side here. Damn it, another beehive. Oh, one thing I did pick up was a rainbow ant nest. So we can go to another dimension that way as well. Um, and I got a water, water dragon charge, which I don't even know what the hell that does. Uh, let's see. I want to get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of you. And the peonies. The salt ore. And I'll eat that. Or throw it away. Get rid of that crafting table. Okay. Eat the cantaloupe. And we need to figure out where we're going here. Because this might have been easier with everybody else who had been on the server before me to be able to find the damn place. Alright, you know what? We're going to go off to the southwest along the top of this. And uh, that'll keep us up high. I know it won't save us from many of the mob mobs, but at least we should be able to see some sort of a, a town or a village or something. Because apparently they're both walled in. So it's not like it's something where you're like, okay, it's uh, three buildings, and if you blink, you'll miss it. Or it's in between a crevasse, you know. So we'll have to just kind of keep our eyes open from the top up here. Ooh. You're a brown ant one, aren't you? Ant nest. Cool. I'm just going to pick them all up if I happen to see them. Ooh. All right. Because that's, again, how you get to the other dimension. I can't remember which one is the one that you don't want to mess with. I think it's the rainbow one. Or the red ant one. I think the red ant is the one that takes you to a really nasty place. And then the uh, regular ant, like I have, takes you to one that has a really badass boss in it. But there's um, it doesn't seem to be any mobs, whether it be day or night. Alright, where are we? A uh, creeper with a pumpkin on his head. I think that's the light creeper. Um, we're here. There doesn't even appear to be anything over there, so... We died that way. So we gotta go east. This way. There's gotta be something around here. Let me run around a little bit more. I'll keep it recording just in case something exciting happens. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alright guys, I believe I have found something. Uh, if we go past the burning trees. We stay the hell away from whatever mobs are there. Go away sheepy, get out of my way. able to pick that up. Yeah, okay, good. Here's the village. Alright, 
This one uh, apparently isn't walled in. So the second one will be even further away from here. Uh, we got the smelter here. A small one. And I honestly don't care if these guys die or not. Uh, he's got a cow in there. I don't even want to know what you're doing there, bud. To each their own, man. To each their own. Go down here. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. That doesn't look fun. I don't think I want to fight that. <laughs> I'll try to stick with passive mobs, I think, for the first episode. Ooh, it's an arborist's house. Oh, that's oh, for uh, the bees or trees or something. Yeah, that's all that junk. It's a beekeeper and an arborist. Yep. Forest Queen. I feel you, buddy. I really do. Alright. We need to... Take those. We'll get the books. And then we gotta continue on to the next village. Alright. Don't need a crafting table. Stop it with the doors. What are you trading? Emerald for books? Nope. Alright, so let's continue down to the southwest. This is something pretty strange here. Oh, these guys. Look at these guys. Stupid little worms. And I think this is the one that spawns uh, rubber ducks. But I don't think these are your nice rubber ducks. I'm not gonna stick around and find it. There's ants around. Alright. Whoa. Let's say, is that a dungeon? That'd be pretty cool if it was an exposed dungeon right there. Alright. Uh. Piratas. So we'll stay out of the water. So this isn't, like I said, guys, not your typical stuff. You can't just go, eh, I'm going to run across here. I'm going to swim in the water and fly over here and do this, do that. No. Ain't happening, man. Not in this one. Not a chance. Oh, yeah, he'll take a good chunk out of me. I think I got to go across there, though. So what is the shortest point across? Go away. That's right. There we go. Yeah, my Skype's going off. It's probably the guys. Alright. Let's see. Let's take a look at the map quickly. So this is the village we were on, and then we gotta go a lot more to the west. So let's go this way. Yeah, I'll show you inside one of these. Um, this is the one that has, I believe it's rats and ghost pumpkins. Yeah, see the ghost? It's got these stupid rats. Uh, iron pick, iron sword, and some torches. We'll take those. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I hear you. Leave me alone. All right. So we found the first village. I'm going to cut to when we get to the second one again. If something exciting happens during the night time, I'll keep you guys around. 
but I'm not going to be hiding away in, in uh, some little hole in the hill. I've got to get to this place. I'm almost there. I can feel it. You're not going to hurt me, okay? Good. All right, guys. I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, I, um, I made it back. I died, actually, uh, just a couple minutes after I let you guys go. And said, I'll be right back right after I die. So I'm right in the middle of this uh, water area. Almost died again swimming out to this thing. I saw this over here. I don't know exactly what it is, though. Um, see, it's that thing. I don't know what the hell that is. But it looks like it's got like emerald or not diamonds, but it's definitely like an emerald type of thing. And I'm going to go check that out. But for this episode, I think we're going to call it. It's been an awesome first experience. All right, guys, I've made it back. Uh, I just slept in this little witch's hut that I found here. And uh, I was swimming out here in the water. And oh yeah, there's all these little buggers all around. Uh, I died and I lost part of my stuff. I had an iron pickaxe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's all gone. I don't know when I broke my um, thing. I don't know if it was got pushed away by the water mob that killed me or what it was. But uh, I don't have it. So that's all right. We'll get rid of this crap. What is that? That's the water dragon thing. Yeah, so I wanted to check out what this is here. There's some sort of spawners I actually just realized in there. I don't really think I want to go near it. Uh, where I'm trying to head to is somewhere uh, over here or over here. See that other village is up here so that might be over this way here a little bit more. So I'm gonna head that way off camera and then probably in the next episode you guys will see me either coming up to the village or being inside it. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I really hope you enjoyed this series guys. It was a lot of fun creating this mod pack and it's a hell of a lot more fun even playing it. I'll see you guys later. Take care.